Hi you guys, if you guys clicked on this video, I'm sure you guys are interested in seeing how my experience went with the Pfizer vaccine. I had gotten it because I am a healthcare worker and my hospital allowed us to sign up for it and get it and I actually got it in January. So I'm here to talk about my experience, my symptoms, everything that I went through. So if you're curious as to what could happen if you get it, stay tuned. I work in a hospital and I do directly work with COVID patients and I thought that it was very important for me to get the vaccine not only to just protect myself but to protect my patients and future patients as well. So I decided to go ahead and get them. So I got my first vaccine dose on January 6, 2021 and I got my second dose three weeks later so I got it on January 27th, 2021 and here is what happened. So I went in for my first dose and I do not look at needles when I get shot. I just kind of look this way and have them shoot my left arm because it's my less dominant arm. So I just looked away and I got shot, but I've heard that the needle's actually pretty long. I should have looked, shouldn't I have? But anyways, the shot itself, it's not as painful as you think it would be. I felt it going in, but once it was in, I didn't feel like, you know, when you, sometimes you can feel the medicine going through and it gets warm and stuff. I didn't feel that. It was pretty harmless. If you ask me, they shot, put it out, and that was it. Immediately, I didn't feel anything. I was fine, and I was at work that day, so I kept going on with my day. My arm progressively started getting more sore throughout the day, and by the time I got home, it was very, very sensitive to the touch. So it was sore not just at the in injection site, but also like kind of like around here, my arm. And so I had slept and I was off the next day. I had to sleep on my right side because it was very sore. And I woke up and I felt fine. The only symptom that I got from the first shot is feeling extremely fatigued. So that whole day, the next day, I was in my couch and I pretty much just slept. I took like three one hour naps that day and I was just in bed, sorry, in my couch. I was just in my couch and I didn't move. I was just watching TV and in my couch and I just let myself rest for the day because I didn't know what to expect. From that first shot, there were no other symptoms. I just had the sore arm that lasted maybe like two days and then I had the extreme fatigue. So I was just very sleepy, very tired. And then I slept and woke up the next day and I was ready to return back to work. So that was a pretty harmless shot if you ask me. I mean, an excuse to take a few naps during the day. I'm not mad at it. So <laughs> that was that first shot. All right, so we're moving on to the second dose. The second dose, now this one I was more nervous for because people were coming back with like all these different side effects. And you know, I was asking my coworkers and other people and they had all these kind of mixed reviews, if you want to say that. So I was going in and I was pretty nervous for the second dose. The shot itself, I didn't even feel. I, like I said, I looked away, he gave me the shot and everything. And when he was done, I was like wondering, did you actually shoot me? I truly didn't feel the needle, anything like that. So that was very harmless. And throughout the day, I felt fine. Again, I was at work when I got my shot. I got my shot around 5 p.m. And I was fine throughout the whole, the rest of my shift for the next like three hours. I got home and I was feeling fine. My arm wasn't getting sore until actually like around 11 p.m. The next morning I woke up, my arm was very sore kind of the same soreness that I felt the first time just a little bit more a little bit more painful I actually got symptoms for the second the second shot so that morning I woke up and I felt fine just the soreness and I was like okay let me check my temperature I had no fever I was 97.1 I was normal and then I went to work and I got to work I checked my temperature I was fine again no fever I went through my day and the morning was fine until it was lunchtime I had lunch around 1 p.m. right after lunch I started feeling super tired i just felt like you know like the two o'clock slumps but like times 10 i just felt so tired because i had soup for lunch and i was like was it the soup you know because soup it was a gloomy day and i was like you know what maybe it's just my body saying like hey ashley you want to go home but then you know i was just kind of feeling extra tired and i felt tired at work before but not this kind of tired i felt like if my head hit a pillow i would just fall asleep immediately so I had shared this with a coworker. I was like, I feel so tired. And then uh, um, my leads, I told him, I was like, I feel really tired, but you know, like other than that, I'm fine because everyone knew that I got the vaccine. They were wondering how I was feeling. I would have to say that after lunch, it was about the 20 hour mark after my shot. So it was 20 hours later, I started feeling extreme fatigue and I ended up leaving work early that day because I felt like abnormally tired. So I was driving home and I was feeling worse and worse i just kept increasingly getting more and more fatigued and i got home maybe like 50 minutes later i don't live close to work 
I got home and then I got straight into the couch. I love this couch. So I went straight into the couch and I wrapped myself in a blanket and I started taking my temperature when I got home. Surprise, behold, I was actually at 99.2 degrees. So I was getting a mild fever. And at that moment, I decided to take Advil. I took 600 milligrams of Advil just to maybe fight the fever, fever reducer, right? Again, my arm was sore this whole time. I was under two fairly thin blankets, but still under blankets that usually keep me warm. And I was feeling like it was really cold. And I was like, what's going on? So then I started feeling body chills. I turned the heater on and the heater didn't do anything. I was still feeling really cold. My fever was kind of going up. I felt kind of lightheaded. I don't get headaches. I've only had like maybe four or five headaches in my whole life and I'm 25. So I started feeling lightheaded. It was this feeling where my head was super sensitive. Like if I were to quickly move this way or quickly move that way, I would get like a slight pain or a, a slight like pressure. So I don't know if it was a headache or if I felt lightheaded or I felt if I felt dizzy. It was kind of a mixture of all three. So I just stood still under my blankets with my heater on and like texting some of my friends I got the vaccine like hey I feel this way and they're like okay I felt this too just take medication and just rest I pretty much took a I think a three hour nap four hour nap I woke up I took my temperature my temperature was back to normal it was back down to like 98 ish and um I felt still a little lightheaded a little oozy but in terms of my fever my body chills those had gone away so I would say I had those symptoms maybe for like five hours max. And then at nighttime, it could have been the Advil that helped me, but by the nighttime I felt fine. My head was still a little bit lightheaded. So by the time I went to sleep, I had arm pain, I had a normal temperature, and my head was just slightly like dizzy or a little lightheaded. And that's pretty much it. I woke up the next day, my arm was still sore, and I felt normal until I started feeling pain in my armpit. I got shot in my left arm and then I felt pain in my left armpit when I woke up. It was like pain to the touch where I would like have my arm down and I couldn't even do that because it would push against my armpit and it would hurt. And this was um, like 36 hours after my shot now by the time I woke up. So around 30 hours, 30, 36 hours-ish, around a day and a half. And I, I looked and I saw this big lump in my armpit and I was like, oh my God, I have a swollen lymph node in my armpit from this. So that was another symptom that I got. I had a swollen lymph node in my armpit. It was a big, big swollen lymph node that was painful to the touch, but I was able to go to work. Um, I had a, a sore arm and a sore armpit and I just took pain pills to help handle it. And I think that lymph node went away maybe two days after. So I got my shot on the 27th, I think by the 29th, no, no, no. By the 30th or the 31st, I was symptom free and I felt back to normal. And now it's been 10, 11 days since my vaccine and I am very happy that I got it. I am very, very lucky that I was one of the ones who could get it and it could benefit me, it could benefit my family, it could benefit the patients that I will be seeing in the future. Yeah, so that was my symptom story. That's that's how my journey went with the Pfizer vaccine. And I didn't get to choose Pfizer or Moderna. My, my site had Pfizer and Pfizer only, so I just went with it. I want you guys to keep in mind, every single person felt differently after the vaccine. Some people were literally asymptomatic. Nothing happened to them, no fever, no pain, nothing like that, just a sore arm, which is fine. And some people had a high fever for like a night and then they woke up and it was fine. You know, it's there's a whole list of things that could possibly happen and that's what happened to me. So if you guys are thinking about it, you know, I hope I shared a little bit of insight on what it's like to get the vaccine. There's still a lot of research to be done on this vaccine. So keep your eyes peeled, you know, keep your mind open. And it's it's been good so far. If you guys have any questions about my experience with getting the Pfizer vaccine, please comment down below. I will totally answer you. And if you guys have any concerns, um, maybe put them down below and I can possibly comfort you. If I'm being honest, I was totally on the fence on getting the vaccine as well. Even though I work in healthcare, you know, we still have the choice of whether or not we're gonna get it. And I was on the fence and um, a friend of mine actually made this comment that literally made me change my mind. And she told me, you know, if this vaccine was super dangerous and if this vaccine wasn't trusted, then why would they give it to all the frontline workers and all the healthcare workers? You know, they're not trying to kill us all and they're not trying to poison us all. So knowing that, you know, the frontline workers, the ones who are keeping this pandemic as contained as possible are the ones who are getting this vaccine. And if they are trusting this vaccine enough to give it to all the frontline workers, then I think that 
this vaccine is good enough to get. So if you guys find this helpful, please give this a thumbs up. And if you guys like hearing me talk, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, you guys. I appreciate you all and have a great day.